All right. So here, the, what is that? Yeah, yeah, quadratic formula. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you have not done the maze yet, we're looking in the start box. And what do I do with square roots that have a negative in the front? Yeah, I'm going to make that positive. I'm going to stick an I right there. What is the square root of 4? 2. We think it might be traffic. We're not sure. I took a bathroom to get here to avoid it, and I was stuck behind a school bus accident. Yeah. I, true story. I was on my way to work once on my old school, and I got stuck behind a house. Awesome. They were moving a house. I was on a four-lane road. The house was taking up both lanes. Yeah. All right, so what you do, if the box has an I in it, you shade the box. So go ahead and shade this box. To do the maze, you can only go left and right and up and down, and your goal is to find the boxes that have the eyes. That's how you follow the maze, okay? So the next option we have is we can go left and do 3i plus 2i, or we can go down and do 2 times 3 plus 2i. Those are our two options. And we're actually going to use our calculator to do the maze because we learned how to do this by hand yesterday. Okay, so now we're going to use the calculator and let the process go a little bit faster. So the i button is the second function of your decimal. Do you guys see how above your decimal has a little blue i? That is the I for imaginary number. So if I want to type in 3I times 2I, I'm going to do 3 second decimal. There's my 3I times 2 second decimal. And we know if we did that by hand, we would get 6I squared. And then an I squared is negative 1. And so that's 6 times negative 1, which is negative 6. But our calculator does that quickly and just tells us that's negative 6. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write down the answer here. Should that box be shaded? No, that's a real number. Negative 6 is a real number. There's no I, so we don't shade that one. That means our maze is going to go to this one next. So now I'm going to go ahead and type in this one. 2 parentheses, 3 plus 2 second decimal. So I'm typing it in exactly the way it looks. And I get 6 plus... 4i. All right, so does that have an imaginary number in the box? Yes. Okay, so I shade that box. Okay, and now I can go to the left or I can go down. What happens if we go to the left? What do I do with that negative in front of the 25? I make it positive. And I put the I in the front. What's the square root of 25? 5. So I have 5I plus 3. Is that how we're supposed to write complex numbers? No. How do we write complex numbers? 3 plus 5I. We do the, um, the real part first and then the imaginary part. That has an I in it, so I'm going to go ahead and shade. So from this box, I can go up or down or left. Which one do you guys want to do to see where the I is? Left. Yeah, up doesn't have an I. We already found that one. Um, why are we not going to go down? It's negative in front of the square root. It's not going to have an I. Okay. So we're going to take this negative. We're going to make it positive and put an I in the front. And what is the square root of 36? 6, so we have 6i, so we're going to go ahead and shade that one. Okay, so from this box, we can go up, we can go down, or we can go left. We want to go up. So we have 2i times 3i squared. You guys doing good typing them in? And you're typing them in yourself, right? Because I'm not your calculator. Your calculator's your calculator. Negative 6i, okay. 
So that's good. We want to shade that one. So from this box, we can go left or we can go right. We know we're not going to go right, so we're definitely going to be going left. And what do you get when you type that in? Perfect. 18 minus 46i. So from this box, we can go down or we can go to the left. Which way do you guys want to go? Okay, so if we go down, what do we get if we go down? Negative one. So did we want to go down? No, because there's no I. So that means we're going to go left instead. What did you guys get for that one? Two. Negative two. Negative two plus eight I. Okay, do you guys feel comfortable with how the maze works? Okay, so make sure when you do the boxes, make sure you don't try to move diagonally. That's the only move you can't do. So you can do straight left and right or straight up and down. Um, and your goal is to follow the maze until you get to the very end. Thank you. And the ending box is right over here. All right, we all understand what we're doing?